Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for all the sun, moon, and rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This has been a wonderful, wonderful journey. Um, please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It has been a wonderful, wonderful um, experience. Um, um, so thank you, um, whatever is going on. Thank you. I want to say to each and every person out there, this is the first week of August 2017. The week begins from the 31st of July until the 6th of July. And please, please remember that this week is the energy vibration of um, temperance. So it's a balanced week. You need to have balance in your life. No matter whatever is happening around you, you need to have balance in your life. This is really, really a positive endeavor and a positive situation that is happening in your life. As we move forward and we're looking at all the situation that are happening and that are playing out, your focus in this week is going to be the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is the energy vibration of um, a wonderful situation that is going to happen to you because this situation is going to be a very, very positive. It's a situation that has to do with cosmic family, people who um you have known in lifetime and lifetime before is going to come back in your life this week for you to work out certain situations in your week so this week you have the energy of the six of cups which you're going to connect with people from um certain organization and uh, people from certain culture and background and this sort of invitation is going to um be that you need to clean up whatever situation that has been going on okay this is good whatever um we're looking at and we're seeing in this week um, we need to change a lot of stuff in this week okay we need to change a lot of stuff in this week I'm gonna put my glasses on to see what is going on so we're gonna do a lot of situations so what's happening is that you have the energy of uh, the eye princess coming up on Monday which is um, very good because you're ending them one month and beginning a new month zodiac energy is a fire so be aware of this as we look forward and we're going forward we have also the two of staffs the two of staffs I'm using the Chinese um, Torah card and this is um, good so we're having the two of staff so whatsoever is happening we are having a positive positive energy vibration that is coming in in the middle of the week on Wednesday we have the three of staff so this is good we are having uh, opening a portal is going to open up on Tuesday um, if you're looking for work Tuesday is going to be a good work so on Monday you will get a message that Tuesday you can come in this sort of a thing on the third day we have the three of staffs and the three of staffs is a wonderful energy whatever the energy vibration is is that you're leaving something behind something new is going to open up for you and this is going to be good as we move forward we have the seven of cups and the seven of cups is new opportunities new possibilities are going to open up for you guys and this is going to be good I love the energy of the seven of cups uh, as we move forward we have the page of cups coming in and this is a wonderful energy this page is uh, coming in and letting you know how much love they feel for you so your week is going to be a week of love whoever this person is this page um, it is a fish a, um, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is that is coming in to let you know how much they love you as we move forward we have the ten of cups and the energy of the ten of cups is a happy wonderful family on Saturday whatever the situation that is going to happen on Saturday is a happy wonderful um, family um, day on Saturday and then we have the queen of cups coming in also so this is wonderful um you guys are having a lot of cups energy i see a lot of cups energy happening in this week so you have the six of cups that is going to be your focus because you're connecting with soul family and and people from a soul situation and uh, 
this is what is coming out the six of cups energy you're going to connect with people and these people are going to help you and you have the queen of cups here and there is going to be a very happy family life whatever the situation is whatever that has happened um, new opportunities new possibilities are going to come out for you guys uh, as I go forward I'm going to look to see what this week has to offer um, extras for the Aquarians uh, Sun Moon and Rising sign for the Aquarian Sun Moon and Rising sign what does this week have to offer for the Aquarian Sun Moon and Rising sign what does this week have to offer for the Aquarian Sun Moon and Rising sign what does this week have to offer for the Aquarian Sun Moon and Rising sign oh my god <laughs> Oh my god, okay, people, strange things are happening. Okay, so what is happening is that for this, for, for you focus in this week, it's going to be the Six of Cups. Okay, the Six of Cups is a connection with family, past family, souls, soulmates. Um, um, soul family situations with soulmates and soul family you're walking away from the situation for whatsoever you're going on a new journey you're moving out on a new journey for whatever situation it's going to be okay so you know whatever is happening is that you're healing whatever that you have to do with these um, past family people in your life and you're healing it and moving on and this is going to be extremely good okay what is happening here um, the high princess the energy of the high princess is here and it's as if the energy of the high princess comes up to support you this is another earth and it uh, I princess is uh, the water energy so there is a psychic situation um, a lot of people are going to feel as if you're not you you can't uh, um, connect met the spirit world is as if there's a block between you and the spirit world there is a confusion and a block between you and the spirit world whatever this confusion is it's negative influence so all you have to do is call upon um, um, the matra energies to come in and flow through you and surround you whatever is happening there is a situation that is happening because you are um, it's as if your psychic is blocked it's as if People are trying to block you and your psychic, whatever the situation is, but it's not going to work out. Okay, so if you're a psychic person and you feel confused and feel blocked, as if certain things are not working for you, it's not going to work out. Okay, all right, we're going forward and we have the two of starve the two of starve is the energy vibration of the two of ones the two of ones is always uh, and a new beginning coming in a door a portal is coming in and some and and this is connecting this i see that um there is an energy of someone feeling as if they're confused and worried about certain things something happened a door a portal opened up and is as if um, energy comes out that is too um, heavy for your energy vibration and you're feeling so worried you have worries you're confused you're not seeing well and it is because a spiritual part has been opened up for you but it is uh, you're not seeing um, clearly because on Monday you had the Eight of Swords, on Tuesday you have the Nine of Swords. But you are the energy vibration of the Swords people, so learn to use this in a positive way. And said, I call upon your angels and guides and said, please relieve whatever this confusion is that I'm having. Please release me. And most of the time it's negative energies because sometimes portals open up and energies comes out. Sometimes you go to places, sometimes other people are trying to bring you down and they're sending you negative energies and they with negative thoughts, negative, they're lying about stuff and that sort of a thing. So um, when we look at it, we're looking back and we're realizing that uh, Monday and Tuesday is a day, is these two days that you have to work with a positive energy. You have to call up and ask that you, you know, you are placed a uh, call upon the gold and silver violet flame. Ask the energy vibration of the gold and silver violet flame to come in and purify you and flow through you and surround you. Call upon the energies of the rays, uh, the rainbow rays for all of these people. People call upon the matra energies to come in 
clear your house cleanse your house seal your doors and windows come in and flow through you and surround you and you will understand because a lot of people especially if you're psychic you tend to pick up other people's psychic negative energy thoughts and that sort of a thing and it is good if you are a psychic whenever you finish a reading from someone that you cleanse your energy and you cleanse yourself because obviously what is going on here is that people are now being very psychic and people are now being very sensitive and you're opening up and your sensitivity is attracting negative energies and people who dislike you are sending you negative energies so you have to be aware that every morning as you wake up you thank the universe for another beautiful day and when you're showering whenever you're getting ready to do your days you need to call upon the angels and said I'm asking you for divine intervention to stand in my energies and declare my energies okay as we go forward we have the three of staver the three of staver is good because you're leaving something behind and you're walking away from something and this is good so whatever you're leaving behind and walking away from it it's going to be good whatever however you look at it it is going to be there's such a positive energy because you're walking away and you're leaving something and you have the energy of the six of ones you're you're nearly through whatever situation it was so Monday and Tuesday was well a days that you are not going to feel the top the top of yourself but you need to call upon your guides and angels and ask them for divine intervention and divine protection and you will feel much better because you have the six of swords so whatever that situation was on Monday and Tuesday you're moving away from this situation and you're going to see positive energies coming out okay you're going to see positive energies coming out I should have looked deeper to see what was happening for you guys but it's going to be okay as we look at Thursday we have the seven of cups the seven of cups is wonderful the seven of cups is the energy of a whole lot of new possibilities are going to be coming into you a whole lot of opportunities will be coming into you whatever the situation is you are vibrated in a week where all the the the, the swords energies are coming up so you have the seven of of cups so you have the seven of swords so the seven of swords new opportunities are going to come in um, people are trying to get um, away with certain things but it's not going to happen new opportunities are going to come in for you a lot of new opportunities are going to come in for you and whoever is trying to get away with something stand your guard and ask your angels and guide that these people do not get um get away with what they have done okay you need to stand up and realize it and don't let these people get away with whatever it is as we go forward we have the energy of the page of cups the page of cups a wonderful um, situation coming in your life it is something that has been wonderful a positive energy a positive situation that is coming in your life whatever it is the page of cups is bringing this this is uh, someone who is um, a cancer uh, uh, Pisces or a scorpion and this person is going to bring you love a lot of love whoever this person is they're going to bring you um, a heartache I'm going to bring you heartache so whatever is going on look around see who is this person if your relationship if you are with someone in a relationship um, this person the night the page of cups is going to bring you heartache whoever this person is um, look around to find out who is this person whether it's a scorpion a cancer or a whether it's a scorpio it's cancer or something it, they're going to bring you heartache so be ready and aware of this on friday whoever this person is it could be some people's son if you look and see if your son is uh, the uh, have the energy vibration of a pisces a cancer or a scorpion this person is going to break your heart whatever the situation is this person is going to break your heart so be aware of that as we go forward which is really scary on Saturday you're going to have the ten of cups whatever the energy of the ten of cups is it's here twice so 
is it that that person going to break your heart maybe for some people but for some people the ten of cups came up twice so whatever and this is yes I get this sometimes so um, for you guys the, you have the ten of cups on Saturday twice coming up twice so this is positive this is so extremely positive this is a wonderful energy because the ten of cups is coming up on Saturday so I'm going back um, and you know I'm gonna ask uh, I, I, I wanted to ask and I'm, I'm gonna use something else I'm asking my guides and angels to tell me what is happening is it going to be a break a broke on a heart it's like the page of cups is like some people kids are going to say something to break their heart so something is going on here because you start the week you Aquarius with the eight of sword and the nine of sword it's all about the the mind it's all about the thoughts in this week for you um, for you um, um, Aquarians and on Friday someone who is of a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio you're going to get an art break for that person on Friday but on Saturday then you it's as if a, a makeup is there because you have the energy of the ten of cups so let's let's see um, let you know I'm asking my guides an angel what is this about this page of cups with a art break what is happening page of cups to the art book you're going to get a message from the knight and I princess wow okay ladies and gentlemen be attentive to hear the sun the energy of the six of cups uh, okay remember on Friday you got you got let me do it like this you got on Friday you got the, the five of cups oh, oh it's a page of cups the page of cups is someone who is young young in spirit young in heart and you have the three of Pentacles let me hold it up closer yeah I'm tired so I have to be wearing my glasses you get the you got the three of cups so as if um, somebody broke your heart it's as if your child said something and broke your heart whatever it is uh, it's a young energy the page of cups is a young energy and what happens here is that I ask the question what is going to happen and the knight of cups is going to bring you a message about the situation whatever is happening the knight of cups is going to bring you information about the situation it's as if someone is going to bring you so it's as if your child did something and you weren't aware of it and this knight of cups who is the energy vibration of a cancer a scorpion or a um, Pisces is going to give you, bring you a message about this king uh, this page of cups and this page of cups it could be some someone who is a child so this night whoever this night is is going to bring a message about the situation so I'm putting it like this he's going to bring a message about the situation and what is going to happen is that your intuition the I princess the I princess and whenever the I princess comes up because if it was uh, um, someone who is of a cancer a Pisces or a, 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 the eye princess comes up so when the eye presence comes up is the intuition it's uh, your angels and guide your spirit guides are coming in are going to send this man your angels and guide the spirit guides so the the eye princess is always your spirit guides is always someone on the spiritual side is going to send another message in and this message come from the Knight of Wands. Oh my God. So something is going on here, people. You have the two Knights. You have the Knights of um, Cups, which is bringing a message. And you have the Knights of Wands that is about to take a flight. Something is happening here, people. You need to understand what is happening here. Something is happening here because somehow the page, this is the page of cups, is going to break your heart. And the Knight of Cups comes in to um, bring you a message. And that Knight of Cups was sent by this. Um, I princess which is someone from in the spirit world to give you a message and somehow this night uh, is taken off it's as if 
this person did something illegal and is taken off is trying to um, fly away is trying to get away whatever is happening be aware of whatever is happening in this week and this night is an Aries an Aries this night is an Aries and um, Sagittarius of uh, a Leo so be aware people something is happening here with this page of uh, this page of cups this page of cups it's your child they're trying to do something information to you know it's as if they're stealing something but the eye prince is coming in to give a message because the eye prince has sent this page of cups uh, to you to tell you something about the situation and this knight is trying to um um, um it's try it's trying to get away with something this night and this is an Aries a, a, a scorpion or um he's trying to get away with something be aware of what is going on around you in this week this is this is something else that's going to be on Friday but whatever is happening on S Saturday you have uh, the energy of the ten of cups twice upright this is so good I was amazed when I saw it come out okay and then we're going forward and on Sunday what we have is the Queen of Cups so the Queen of Cups was here and there is a situation so whatever is happening you need to understand whatever is happening because here you have the knight of swords coming at the queen of cups for a reason whatever reason it is this knight of swords which could be you and your own energy vibration going after this queen of cups because something they did something and whatever is happening whoever the queen of cups was that did something this knight of sword is going to get them so it could be you because you are also the energy vibration of uh, um you are you're also the energy vibration of the sword so it could be you going at this queen of cups because of something that she has done so be aware of whatever is going on around you in the suite because obviously there is something happening especially on friday so there's going to be a situation with you aries on friday and be aware of what is happening okay let's look further and see what is going to be your message for this week you have reach out I reach out um, my hands and my heart to connect to and unite all humans so I reach out my hands and my heart to connect to and unite all humans so I reach out so remember whatever is going on whatever situation is going on I reach out my hands and my heart to connect to unite all humanities so be aware of this be aware of whatever is going on um, and your last and final card because this reading was something else I tell you my guides and angels sometimes some things comes up Oh my God, serendipity! So whatever is happening, you guys, serendipity, synchronistic. So this is going to be wonderful, and I'm going to read your message for serendipity. Um, this is going to be wonderful. Whatever, whatever has happened, this is going to be wonderful because there is the energy of, of serendipity, and whoever that person is that is trying to get away, that um, knight of wands, because he's trying to uh, run away. Whoever he or she is, is trying to run away and um, ask the universe to make sure that they don't get away with whatever is happening. Whoever that person was who is trying to get away with something, it's not going to happen, okay? So be aware. Okay, your last card, which is wonderful. You have serendipity opportunities um, allied with readiness. The awareness of synchronicity, luck, and good fortunes appear as signs and symbol, a magical alignment of event. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You have stepped into alignment with the greater good, where your dreams and the collected dreams resonate in an exorbitant harmony. Now is the time for luck and preparation to meet. And create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself keep 
in mind that you are a channel for uh, prov um, um, prov providence of real new eye energies using you as a focus on behalf of the world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring in, be now, will leave a wondrous legend for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile, for spirit loves you so very much. This is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, this is going to be wonderful. Whatever is happening in the beginning of the week, whatever is happening in the beginning of a week, it's going to change because this week was a week of uh, connecting with um, soul families and clearing up a situation that has been happening. Serendipity you have, which is positive. It's a lucky, lucky card to receive. Whenever you receive that card, that means uh, whatever magic that is about to take place is going to happen in your life in this week. So use the week positive. And I want to say to each and every person, Namaste. And listen to your sun, moon, and rising side. Thumb hops, like these videos and share them so that everyone can um, be touched by these readings. And I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Namaste.